another video. My name is Akita Mann. I am a content creator inspiring women to remove the roadblocks to pursue their passion and purpose. In today's video, I'm going to do a hair video because when you look good, you feel good. And this has been requested on Instagram as well as on YouTube. So I wanted to show this look from beginning to end on a wash day. So if you're interested in seeing this, stay tuned. Okay, so to get started, I am starting on air dried hair. This is three bundles of the 18 inch uh, loose wavy hair. I will leave where you can get it below. I got it from Glam by Mame. So Mame is where I got the hair from. And currently I am, uh, my sew in is in about six weeks now. So about six weeks since uh, the install of this sew in. The only part that's left out is my leave out here where I am 100% natural, as you can see. <laughs> Um, and also here is where how much my hair has grown since the last install so um, I typically keep my sewings in for about six weeks eight weeks max and then I do go ahead and take it on out just so that my hair can um, get really deep conditioned wash treated well trimmed if needed and then I can go on with the next um, style that I choose so let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna go ahead and wet this part a little bit because I want the product to be able to get through the hair um, as it should and need some additional slip. So I'm gonna start off with the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I have um, shown this in other videos uh, as well, how I maintain my sew-in. Um, so if you've not seen that video, you can check that one out. So just putting in a little less than a dime size, bringing that throughout my hair from root to tip. And I'm gonna use this wide tooth comb. And just really make sure the product gets through there. Perfect. And then I'm going to apply um, some heat protectant. I have the Tresemme heat protectant. Um, it's a five benefits in one. I do also use Chi as a heat protectant as well. So I'll switch between the two. I am very generous when it comes to heat protectant. <laughs> All right, so then what I'm gonna do, since I'm gonna prepare this to be blow dried, I'm going to just kind of twist this out of my way. Okay. We're gonna use a little clamp from Sally's or TJ Maxx, I think. So yeah, so I have this out of my way now, and now what I'm gonna do is just kind of uh, brush through, comb through the hair itself just to get it detangled. And I love the natural state of this hair. Which if you'd like, you can wear it in its natural state. I am going to wear it um, wand curled just to really define the curls more. And even with applying heat to this hair, it does revert back, which I love, love, love about Mommy's hair. And it also, um, um, I've had this hair, I'm gonna say the length of time I've had this hair. I've had this hair now for about um, two years. Yeah, so I've had this hair for about two years now. So now that it's combed out, I am also going to apply heat protectant to the hair itself. Again, I want to be very generous when it comes to heat protectant. I do not play. take this um, dryer, um, which, I, which I'll show you in a minute. It's a hooded dryer that attaches to a uh, blow dryer nozzle. 
which I did get this from Amazon, um, both of these, so I'll link it down below for you. Um, so once I do that, I just remove the comb that I have attached. I will end up reattaching it so that I can blow dry my leave out, but um, until then I'm going to just sit down, do a little bit of work, and then um, just sit with the hooded dryer on with the blow dryer attachment. And this way I'm going to ensure that my hair and brains underneath here is fully dry. The worst thing you can do is um, have your hair wet and then continue styling without making sure your hair underneath is completely dry. It will smell, it will mildew, um, it can cause bacteria, and you just don't want that. So you want to, again, ensure that your braids and hair is protected and completely dry underneath um, your install. So, let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll circle back. blow dry my hair or sat on the dryers to make sure that my roots are dry. I'm now going to go in with my um, red blow dryer <laughs> and I'm going to attach the nozzle again. The reason for that is I am going to kind of comb through the hair um, as well as do my leave out. Um, so to prepare for that, I'm going to apply more heat protectant. <laughs> You can use the heat protectant of your choice. Again, I'm using this Tresemme one, which I've used for a while. I like this one. I also like the Chi um, protectant heat guard as well. So I do like that. So again, I'm gonna apply more heat protectant. And then afterwards, I'll apply an oil to it as well. hair is significantly bigger which I love 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 um, but again the hair itself isn't compromised um, the curl pattern is still there just again if you want to wear it in its natural state you're welcome to do that and if not you can go ahead and curl it as I'm going to do today um, so I'm going to start out by going ahead and um, uh, do I want to do this first I'm actually gonna do my leave out last. I'm gonna go ahead and do it first, which sometimes I do, but I think I'll wait till I get a little bit towards the top and then I will um, flat iron it at that time. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait and flat iron it when I get a little bit closer towards the top of the hair when I'm wand curling it. The wand curl that I'm gonna be using is this hush. Hot shot tool. I did get this from Sally's a couple years ago. I'll link it down below as well. And then also the flat iron I'm using is the EAP Heat flat iron. I love this flat iron. Um, and I'm going to um, flat iron my hair at 410 degrees. It does go up to 450 degrees. Um, okay, so I have this one set at 380 as well, just for reference. And I do like it as a kickstand as I'm going to um, be sitting it on the counter. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I split my hair right down the middle just so I just kind of know what I'm playing with here. And I'm gonna get this out of my way. Yeah. And then I start from the back of my hair. So I start from the back and the bottom. I kind of pin this out of the way. Voila. And then I'll split this in half. Okay, so I'm splitting this one in half. A little bit more here over here. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, there. Now it's more evenly split. And then I curl. Some people do different types of wand curls. So they'll wand um, towards them, then some away. Um, it just depends on the look you're going for. I like all of my curls to go away from my face on opposite sides. So I'm gonna start here. And as I'm going, I'm also twisting the hair, as you can see. 
I leave it on for about 10 seconds. And then I will release. As I'm releasing it, I pull it. Okay, so that's gonna be very important with the look that I like going for. Um, it'll give the whole look kind of like a wave pattern versus curlies. So um, that pull is very important with that. Let me show you again. Again, I'm twisting. See as I'm going around, I twist, twist, and I hold the end. Hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. this side and again I repeated the same method um, curled and pulled and so since I'm getting close towards the top I want to go ahead and flat iron my leave out and the reason for that is I want to be able to blend my leave out with the hair as I'm curling it um, so that way I'm not constantly putting more heat on it and then I can just because um, it just helps with the blending process overall because again as you can see my hair is a little bit shorter than the actual extension so I just wanted to um, not leave that mark. So I'm going to be using a uh, an oil which is by Influence and I just take about two to three drops rub it in my hands because again it's not that much hair that I'm leaving out. I always do this just before I apply the um, heat and I don't put it on the extensions because I don't want to weigh down the extensions themselves, but I do want to make sure I get it on my hair because of course it's mine. <laughs> okay, so now that I have that in, gotta comb it through as well. I'm just gonna take this rat tail comb. I typically like the one that has like a, um, a middle tip to it um, just because I feel like it makes the parts a little bit cleaner. Okay, so that's definitely crooked. <laughs> okay, and so I do also split this as well. I only split it depending on how much hair is left out um, because again it's not always necessary but since I have a little bit more hair left out I want to make sure it's straight and I can get as close to the root as possible. So again I have my EAP heat flat iron it's on 410 and I just do one pass and I just do it straight. only smoking up because I just freshly put the um, oil on there it's not burning my hair that's it one pass y'all remember that video I did with that <laughs> when I found this first gray hair I still so far only see this one so she's hanging on in there do the same thing here. I'm just gonna split it just so I can make sure this is nice and straight. One pass. I'm not going. 
going through it multiple, multiple, multiple times. I know some people do the comb chasing method. I have not perfected that. So let's try it. Let's see if I can do it today. Care wax stick as well, um, which sometimes and it really just depends. Um, I'll use it just before I apply the heat or right after, just to again assist with the blending and also keep down the flyaways. So on this side, I did it afterwards. You don't need a lot because again, you don't want it to look really greasy. But it will help reduce frizz and again keep it from reverting back when you go outside um, or throughout the week because I only like to um, flat iron my leave out one time, um, maybe twice throughout the week, but really once and then um, I'll rewash my hair and do it all over again. is blended into this the extension hair I'm going to do the same method I'm definitely gonna make sure I leave it on for 10 seconds because again since my hair is up there I don't want to um, have a lot of heat on my hair hold it and then do a quick pull so there you can't tell where my hair is beginning and where the other hair is starting. Okay, so here we go again. I want to show you a bit closer. Um, I now have a piece again. Here is the um, natural hair. Here's the ex uh, extensions, the weave hair here. I'm just going to put them together. Then I take this wand. Now make sure that I curl it kind of tight and twist it kind of tight as well. This will keep my hair from poking through. And give me the curl that I'm looking for. And here's the last piece here from the top. And as you can see, my hair is perfectly blended. I'm gonna make sure it's tight. Okay, so it has literally taken me all day, but I've stopped. I really have been going kind of back and forth. So as you can see that this side has already started to drop and then this side is the fresher side. So I just finished this one and then this one, um, was because I did this like three hours ago, it's already starting to drop a bit. But um, again, just wanted you to be able to see the difference. So here's one side, here's the other side. Here is my hair blended into it. So now I'm just gonna finish it off. I'm gonna use this Cara Cara Oil Sheen. Um, I am gonna be kind of light-handed with it because um, this is very moisturizing and I don't want my hair to, again, become um, weighed down. Okay, so that's enough of that. And then for it to hold the curls, then I'm gonna use this Chi Enviro 
Enviro 54 Firm Hold Hairspray. I actually got this from Marshalls for $2.99 and I've had this for a very long time um, because I don't need a, um, like a firm holding spray a lot for my hairstyles. So I'm going to again just spray this throughout the curls. And then I'll do the same for the other side. And then just push them in and lock it. If you have a diffuser, you can just um, use the diffuser dryer and just kind of set the um, spray in with the curls. Um, so I'm not going to do all that. And because it's already evening time. <laughs> I started earlier this afternoon. So again, here we are with the finished look. Wanted to show you here how to achieve this look. And also um, regarding how I maintain it as I'm getting ready to like go somewhere, what I'll do is I'll just start separating the different curls, which will make it a little bit bigger, more voluminous. And then for the most part, it'll stay about this length. And then as it gets older, I'll just start brushing the curls out and give me a very nice, um wave like it'll just look really wavy versus more curly so again to um maintain this style so you don't have to keep redoing it i'll take um this piece here how i would curl it is i would just make sure that i do the same way to the curling wand just curl back see i'm curling backwards 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 and then i would secure here and secure here that's it Voila, then I would take it down and then I would still have the same curl pattern. So that's what I would recommend. And then as well, I don't just throw on a bonnet and go because then the, it'll cause the curls to tangle. I'll take it up by side. So I'll take one side and the other side, almost kind of like in a pineapple and I'll bring them up one side and I'll clamp it. So I'll either use like a claw clamp or a clamp like this and I'll just again bring the curls to the top of my head so then that way when I go to sleep I just tie the bonnet around the um I'm sorry I'll tie my scarf around this part and my curls will be at the top so once I get ready to release the curls at night I would just take the bonnet take the scarf off and then the curls will be in place and then I'm just really just shaking them back out so that's how I maintain it and again, I am six weeks post my, um, the install, so I've... Okay, so now that I am back, it is a, it is the next day. And as you can see, I had the curls sitting on top of my head. I'm just bringing them back down. See, the curls are still intact. I'll do the same for the other side. See how they're just falling intact, falling in place. And then I'm going to just take the flexi rods out. See, just pull it, pull it down. And again, I really like doing this method, especially for my leave out, because I don't want to have to keep applying heat to it. I just pull it and stretch it down, pull it, stretch it down. And as you can see, it has blended in with the rest of the um, extensions. And now at this point, what I'm gonna do is just kind of fluff it out and start stretching and pulling some of the pieces of the hair. Just run my fingers through it. And as you can see, it's getting kind of bigger and fluffier, which I like. And again, as long as you continue the method of um, putting your hair up in a pineapple, like me placing the curls on the top of your head when you go to sleep, you won't have to keep redoing your hair. And in a sew-in, I'll wash my hair one one to one and a half weeks. I do like to have my hair very clean. Um, it's 
since I know how to maintain my hair, I'll wash it every week. I definitely won't go past two weeks of washing my hair, of not washing my hair. And voila. <laughs> so here is the finished look. Yeah, there we go, okay. <laughs> so here's the finished look. I'll show you the back. 